so, joining me now is the general manager of John's of Bleecker Street. His name is Kevin Jackson. Kevin, uh, we just heard from Kelly, your business, one of the oldest coal-fired pizzerias in the country. You cannot be happy about this. What, what will it do to your business? Well, good morning, Ash. Thanks for having us on. Uh, so listen, yeah. this is a well-intentioned law, but it misses the mark when it comes to coal-fired uh, coal ovens. Uh, all restaurants that have coal ovens use a coal called anthracite coal. It is a high carbon uh, type of coal, almost particulate free. Um, so to include coal ovens in this legislation, it, it misses the mark, and, uh, but it is what it is. The city, uh, they, they, they're mandating it, and we've done it. Now, I may have misheard Kelly there, but I'm sure she shared something about 150, 160,000. I mean, what's the cost to you to update your oven's exhaust system? Yeah, so Kelly hit the mark. We, we had about $150,000 worth of expense. Uh, don't forget, wow. you can't just put a, a scrubber on the top of the flue. Our flue wasn't the right width, so we had to uh, change our whole, our two six-story uh, flues, we had to change from 14 inches to 18 inches. You have to put the scrubber up top. That involves uh, punching through a brick wall, which in a 100-year-old building, I can assure you, uh, needs engineers and uh, all kinds of different uh, construction people just to do the punch through the wall. So it's, an, it's a big expense. But how frustrating is this? Wouldn't it be nice to maybe concentrate on crime across the city and other issues that, uh, than, than coal-fired pizzas? I mean, this seems to me to be very snickety and uh, misplaced. What about you? Uh, Ash, we agree with you. Listen, I, I suffer from asthma. No one's more interested in, in having mm. clean air and, and, and particular free air than I am. Um, however, it's, it's, it's uh, the cost of doing, doing business in New York City, as we found out. That's insane. So my question then, Kevin, is are you going to have to pass on these, this big cost to you to the customer? Yeah, so Ash, we actually did this project three years ago, uh, right at the height of COVID. Okay. Uh, we were mandated to do it, so we've already incorporated the price of that into our current prices. But I would imagine other pizzerias may be put out of business by this. It's a lot of money. You're exactly right. Uh, thankfully, we, we absorbed it. We, we ended up on our feet, but I, yeah. I know there are other places that can't do that, and, and that's really why you know, we, we want to fight the fight, because it's, it's not fair uh. to the smaller places. It certainly isn't, but Kevin, thank you so much for letting us into your place today, and we wish you the very best for the future. Thank you so much.